All right, welcome to the Man Who Died channel. All right, where we, I discuss things. Predominantly, I, I, try, I try and discuss things that I have an interest in because that way I can get into a better flow state with it. Because if I don't do that, then it's going to be like talking about things that I have no interest in. Even if I don't know everything about the topic, it's not 100% absolutely necessary because I have an interest in it or something has happened in that area. So one of them obviously is no self. Okay, the other one is the man and woman dynamic, and then the other, other bits and pieces really had to do with movies, my own little films, and other little tiny, I wouldn't even call them reviews, I'd more likely just call them kind of like, you know, just my take on them, or my thoughts on them, or whatever, you know, so, this one I want to go into, so this is going to touch upon man and woman dynamic yet again, and this thing about you know, love, to say this thing about that, you know, the, the woman usually would say, I love you, the man, I love you, I love you, I love you, okay. You know, so kind of like, um, all right, just nail on the head straight away. There, when it comes to this dynamic, right, in the, in the world that we're living in right now, this is complete bullshit, dude. This is complete bullshit, all right? What they're really saying, the woman or the man, that it's a business transaction. That's all it is. So just say a single mother will, will find some guy or, Something like that. Okay, it's a business transaction. Oh, you do this for me, you can do that for me, and you know, in the back of the head, it's like a scheme. You know what I mean? It's like a, it's like another corporate scheme in the back of your head. It's just resources and kind of like maybe someone can take care of me later on. It's like it's like a it's like a plan. It's like an insurance policy, right? <laughs> right? It's like an insurance policy because we're so insecure, so afraid, so kind of like lost that we think like, well, someone else can try and help me find my way out of this fucking maze that I happen to be in all right so when you look at the word love even though there is a there is a, a real thing it, it's called uh, but you can call it anything you want it is connected to no self and it's more like kind of like just a vibration of kind of like this energy of the universe which is the positive energy of the universe okay but when man and woman use this word see it depends who's using it why they're using it And mostly people are using it because they think that, like, you know, they have an emotional kind of, like, relief. All right, this man's with me. Okay, this woman's with me. And to boot, she's attractive enough. Other guys are looking at her. Vice versa. A girl has going out with a man or whatever, right? Okay, he looks all right. And, you know, he seems strong and kind of like, you know, and, you know, or strong presenting anyway, right? So kind of like, you don't really know if you're strong, by the way, unless you're put to the test. You don't know that. You can live in this fucking mirage in your head about, oh yeah, I'm Steven Seagal walking around. A bit of danger comes, man, and you're gonna jump out the fucking window. All right, so it's always good to test yourself because the amount of ego and bullshit that, that we have as human beings, thinking that we're strong, and then a tiny bit of pressure comes from somewhere that doesn't give a shit, that's unrelenting, then you're gonna see if you can stand in the same spot. So this love nonsense in relation to the man and woman the way they, they use it with each other is just a business transaction and it's a word that is used to try and hurt the other other human being all right and they don't care about the other human being it's just like i said it's just resources you know women are, are hypergamous so they don't care about the man at all the man in his folly thinks that the woman means what she says they're like, oh yeah, you're gonna, I'm gonna be with you forever, I love you, you know, this is only for you, and blah, 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 yeah, whatever, dude, yeah. So, and then, you know, the man or the woman can be devastated when they just up and leave and go over nothing. It's just like, what the fuck, I, I thought that this delusion, that's what red pill means. It means in that dynamic, in that area, right, of man and woman dynamic, you see that it is just a business transaction and they don't give a flying fuck about you. And that's not negative. At least not the way I look at it right now. It ain't negative because you can see between the raindrops then. You can look at it and go, all right, no one else seems to know what's going on though, right? Everyone else seems to think like, oh, I care for this human being. I care for that human being. No, it's, a, it's an acquired crutch. And it's a business transaction. You might as well just have your credit card out and just swipe it and go, all right, I love you. Cha ching great we got more points now on the card you know there's there's seven hearts now of i love you on the card right you know and, and like you know it's like a, a social status or something right you know so no one gives a fuck about anyone let me repeat that dude right when you know you know 
no one gives a flying fuck about anyone. There is exceptions to this, but they're so minute. Is it even is it even worth mentioning it? No one gives a flying fuck. No one cares, dude. Or they were too confused and you know just in a, in a state of confusion within their own system to even notice other people around us. And we don't give a shit about other people. We don't even know what we're doing to other people. You know, because we're too, because we're there. That's why I talk about no self, because when no self, when, when you're not there, you can see because you're not hindering the process. You're out of the way, so you can see a bit clearer. It doesn't happen all the time. It's a process, I guess, and you gotta work towards it, I guess, I don't know. Well, I do, but you gotta work towards it, right? So, so when people are saying, I love you, and you know, I care for you, and buying woman flowers, and you know, and kind of like, you know, a, you know, a, a happy birthday, and all this, and uh, you know, like, and you know, you know what, it, you know what, it would, you know what would it would entail to actually care for anyone? And I thought about this for for years. You know what it really entail to really care about anyone? You'd leave them alone. You'd let them do their own mistakes. And if they come to you at some point and say, what should I do or something, something like that to that effect, all right? Then you can maybe talk to them, perhaps maybe, or someone could talk to you or whatever, right? But that to me is what it means. You leave people alone, dude. We can't, we can't do anything for anyone, dude. We can't even do anything for ourselves, right? And we're gonna go around playing Captain Saver Ho with women and their emotions, just say for instance, all over the place. You know what I mean? Scatterbrained all over the place and society giving them wrong information and, you know, walking off a cliff while we're laughing. You know, it's just ridiculous. You know, so get it out of your head that anyone gives a fuck about you. I don't care who it is, dude. All right. Like I said, it's so minute on the other side. It's not even worth mentioning. The way I look at it, if you really cared for human beings, you'd leave them alone. You'd let them make their own mistakes. You'd leave them be and let them fall back on themselves. And when they fall back on themselves, then something may happen within themselves because we can't do anything for anyone. And pretending that we love people is a disgrace. We should be ashamed of ourselves when we don't even know what the fuck it means. I love you. No, it just means how much interest is on the next uh, transaction, the next business transaction with one another. What a joke. I yield. <laughs>